hey guys what's up and welcome to another episode of it's about everything so in today's episode i'm going to show you how to uh, service a shaded pole induction motor and i'm also going to tell you how it works so as you can see these are the specifications of this motor so i found this motor on a refrigerator for the air circulation it's used for the air circulation inside a refrigerator and uh, it comes with this fan now I hope you already know where you have seen this fan before about a year ago I made a video about high speed DC motor I've used this fan in that project with an RS775 DC motor so actually this fan came with this motor so today I thought to show you how it works and uh, why it's called a shaded pole induction motor. So I'm going to power it and show you how it works. So this is 220 volt AC power source. So as you can see it works really fast. And you can hear the wind blowing into the microphone. So its RPM is 2800 uh, revolutions per minute. So in 50 Hz frequency, that's about the highest RPM it can get, 2800 to 2900. So when it runs, it creates a little bit of weird sound. So I'm going to open it and lubricate the bush and the shaft. So let's open it. So the rotor is held by two screws, one on each side, and these screws are not very tight. So apart from these two screws there is nothing else to open in this motor. The coil section is actually an individual section that is uh, snapped into its place. It's held, the coil is held by uh, just by pressure and nothing else. I'll show you in a moment. So after both the screws are open, gently pulling the pieces apart, it comes out easily. And you can see the rotor inside. So it's, it's just a basic uh, squirrel cage rotor that we see on any other induction motor whether it's an industrial motor or a household water pump they all look the same so it's a squirrel cage uh, shaded pole induction motor so the back cover needs a little bit of push with a screwdriver and it comes out and here you go it's completely open now you can see the coil section it's it's just pushed into its place so there's nothing to open so how the shaded pole induction motor works so actually it works due to these rings over here you can see these are copper rings 
here they are actually uh, painted black but they are purely made out of copper and they act as a solid coil they shot it out in both the sides you can see so what they do is when electricity is applied to the main coil and the electromagnetic flux travels from one side of the core to the other side this ring sort of absorbs uh, the change in magnetic flux and they generate their own magnetic field which opposes the main uh, electromagnetic field that is coming from the coil and in this way they generate a shift in the magnetic field which uh, in turn generates a rotating magnetic field so in other types of motor such as split phase induction motor the phase shift is generated with a capacitor here the phase shift is generated with these uh, copper rings and that's why they are called shaded pole motors so as the magnetic field changes direction alternatively these rings actually absorb some of the energy and they redirect the magnetic field in such a way that the motor starts itself and and due to these rings uh, you cannot run the motor in reverse direction that's one of the demerits and the other thing is they are not very much powerful because uh, they have a very low uh, efficiency and their power output is also low so they are used in small fans or in room heaters or in this case this motor is from a refrigerator circulation fan so now I'm going to quickly lubricate the shaft and the bushes after that I'm going to assemble everything back to where it's supposed to be fitted so maintaining this type of motors are very simple all you need to do is lubricate the shaft and the bushes and that's it So as you can see it's completely assembled and now I'm going to give it a test. It certainly feels a lot smoother than before. So now I'm going to connect it to the power supply and see how it works. So now the sound is much more smoother. And it feels a lot smoother. So this was it guys. And thanks a lot for watching. I hope you like this video. If you did uh, like my video then hit the like button and share it to your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I keep on making this type of videos always so do subscribe I'll see you in my next video